My name is Ludiko Edward, and I'm a Next Ancient Forum Ambassador to, to Tanzania. And also, I'm a medical doctor by training, and I have a research background in malaria uh, chemotherapeutics. So that's my area of focus and type of research that I do. I'm currently working on malaria research in area of uh, drug resistance surveillance. So malaria is a very big uh, problem in Africa mostly and the first line treatment of uh, malaria is starting to develop resistance in Southeast Asia. We're still safe in Africa so my research is trying to develop strategies into surveillance uh, and interventions to monitor the development of resistance uh, in, in if it is going to happen in Africa to catch it earlier on. The impact of my work is quite enormous in terms of in case the malaria parasites develop resistance in Africa before uh, we are able to catch it early, it means we will have even more uh, deaths and morbidity and mortality related to malaria. So my research tries to devise um, interventions that will help us catch the resistance quite early. Africa is ready for the innovative angle of our research because currently the methods that are used for in the field to monitor resistance are basically microscopy and what we have been working on is a new molecular method that is low cost and um, short time to result that you don't need to do the entire PCR to get these results for the resistance monitoring. So it is, it is quite uh, designed for a low resource setting like, like Africa, so that's it's quite uh, ready for that. So I think one, one important gap that I think needs to be filled uh, for African scientists to solve African challenges is collaboration between African scientists. So there's a lot of collaboration between African scientists and scientists outside um, of Africa, and, you know, in the EU, US, and the likes, but there is no enough regional and, and within Africa collaboration of African scientists that do work that benefits for Africa. So this gap, I think, it's quite important. And Next Ancient Forum is working to build, uh, to bridge the gap of African scientists. African researchers can be supported by industry and government. Uh, through part, uh, public and private partnerships that are developing um, that are developing solutions that are driven by the industry. So the research that uh, academicians do needs to come from the needs of the industry and the governments to solve their problems. So that's the partnership that there is quite important for the industry to drive the needs for uh, for research because they help to solve the problems in in uh, African challenges. In the next five to ten years, I see myself uh, improving the capacity in my university in terms of uh, malaria research. So one of the things that I feel that it's not adequately done right now, most of the, because I'm doing a PhD in Sweden, and our research capacity in my university is not as big as it should be. So I'm seeing myself leading, uh, leading a consortium of African researchers in Tanzania, building capacity in malaria research that can inter have regional uh, collaborations with other researchers. As a young person who's working around uh, areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, the world does not work in isolation. And being part of this community, community of scientists, um, is one of the best rewards you could get. There's a lot of inspiration, there's a lot of people who do amazing things that you wouldn't think of that Africans who are in Africa and outside are doing. So being an F ambassador is an opportunity to get one exposure to these type of amazing people, get inspiration and get the network that you need, get more collaborators to you know, grow your own, your own for personal growth, but also contributing to the growth of the society itself. So I think the best decision 
I've made in my last two years has been to join the NEF, uh, to apply as a NEF ambassador.